Hi, welcome to Nevada Trails. This is Jesse Piriscala. I'd be your host. And we are here at the Sierra Safari Zoo, way up here a little north of Reno. Uh, we'll make sure we give you some directions by the end of the show. But I'm here with Sean, right? Yep. Sean, okay. Almost messed up there. <laughs> We're going to see some new animals. I hear you got zebras. Yeah, we have a male and female baby zebra. They're only a, they're less than a month old right now. They're still drinking out of bottles. Oh, terrific. So it sounds like we're in for a fun-filled day. I brought the girls with me so you guys can get an idea on what it's uh, going to feel like. I uh, hope uh, it is a beautiful day, actually. So yeah, what else are we going to be looking at? We're going to be looking at quite a few animals. We have lions. We have a tiger, a mountain lion. We have baboons and ring-tailed lemurs. And we have a petting area full of deer and antelope. And we have some alpacas in there. And we have a lot of fun stuff. Wow, that sounds pretty cool. Now, you guys just opened? We just, we had closed for the winter. We just opened on April 1st. Okay. We closed for the winter just for weather reasons, but we're open again. We're open 10 to 5, seven days a week. That's terrific, seven days a week. So those of you who work the graveyard shift and all that, you know, you can come out early in the morning. What time, what time do you open? 10 o'clock in the morning, and we close at 5 o'clock in the evening. That sounds like good hours to me. All right, so what do you say we go see some of these animals? Sound good? All right, sounds good. All right, let's go do it. Start. Sure. Okay, I am here with our first uh, animal, I guess you would, reptile here. What, what is this? This is Slithers, and Slithers is a Dumerel's boa. They're a type of boa, and they live in Madagascar. They're actually an endangered species. And she's been here at the zoo for about six years. She was given to us by someone who got her as just a little baby and thought that she wouldn't get as big as she got. She'll actually end up getting probably almost twice the size. Jeez, that's, that's going to be a big snake. So these are the, they constrict and... And yeah. kill their prey that way? Yeah, they wrap around them and crunch them to death, basically. Oh, terrific. <laughs> that sounds like a good time. Uh, this is uh, my beautiful woman, Melissa. She happened to not be scared of snakes. Uh, if she's up for it, are you going to let her uh, hold one of those? Well, people come to the zoo, and if they ask really nicely, we might have someone take them out, and they can come and see some of the animals we'll actually take out and show to people. That's terrific. As long as we're not too busy, you know. We, sometimes we get a little busy, and we can't be able to do that. But we try to do that as much as possible. Uh -huh. Because we, our whole reason we're here is to help educate people about animals and wildlife. And so, you know, and hands-on is the best way to do that. Sure. Most people never get to see a snake like this at all, let alone actually come up and see one and touch one and get to learn about them. And, you know, hear the story of how we got her and everything like that. Sure. Now, how did you uh, happen to acquire this one? She was given to us. Terrific. Terrific. Kind of a donation thing. They knew you'd take care of it well, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, what's up with that white? It's a little white on the nose there. Is that normal? Or? Oh, she's just beginning to shed. Oh, okay. We start kind of from the face and work their way down. And just kind of work their way down then, huh? Okay. That's terrific. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Give no, 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 no. Very no. careful. You can pat her on the side. I'm sure. How much? How much uh, does that weigh? Do you think? Well, she probably weighs about four or five pounds. Their snakes are pretty much just bone and muscle. They're really tough. Well, yeah, she's not super heavy. Now, do they like hibernate like bears or anything like that during the winter? Or uh, no, because she's kept under constant heat. Uh -huh. She basically lives in one season. Because in Madagascar, it's a very constant climate, a warm kind of a tropical area. So the climate would never really change. We try to maintain that so it's as natural as possible. Oh, okay, terrific. Um, no, I'm, I'm good, guys. <laughs> I, I'm amazed. I'm this close, actually. <laughs> but you, you go, you go for it, hon. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, that is terrific. Anything else uh, you'd like to add about this uh, animal? No, that's just about it. We can go move on, see something else, see one of our other many animals we have around here. Sure. This is going to be a fun day. Okay. I appreciate it. And we'll... Okay. I am here, and I happen to notice behind me is a parrot in a feeding season. This is what they do. A parrot? A peacock? Oh, my bad. Pe peacock. Look how pretty that is, though. That is amazing. So I just thought we'd check that out as we were walking by. I thought we wouldn't want to miss this shot. So do they do they like fight or anything? Is that what's going on? Or it's just mating season, and that's normal for them. Okay. Well, I thought I'd get the viewers to get a peek at that. Take a peek at the peacock. And we are out here actually in uh, what they call this the petting zoo. I would imagine. Yeah, this is our petting area, and the public can come in here, and we have all sorts of different animals. Right here, the majority of the animals you see here, they're fallow deer. And then uh, every once in a while over there, you can see we have a couple of alpaca. And then we have some 
little black buck antelope and some pygmy goats. And people can actually come in here and get little ice cream cones mm -hmm. full of feed and you can come in and actually hand feed and have a deer eat right out of your hand. That is awesome. How often can you do that, folks, have a deer eat right out of your hand? What do you girls think about this? It is really cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're so cute. They are quite adorable. So th th let's see, like, say, what, what would that be? Right there? Is that a deer? This right here, that's a fallow deer. Okay. Also, those deer are all kind of different colors. They're all the same type of deer. Okay, that, that definitely looks like a goat, yeah, I would have to say. an this. African pygmy goat. Okay, and the alpacas. Now, where are those indigenous to? You were just telling me, but I wanted yeah. to get it on tape. Alpacas are actually domesticated from an animal called the vicuña, and they're uh, indigenous to uh, South America. Oh, it's terrific. I bet it gets pretty cold where they live. They look like they're they're live in some cold weather. Yeah, it can be pretty cold. They live in mountainous areas where they easily be, you know, 10,000 feet. So there'll be a lot of snow and stuff. But in the summer, it'll warm up quite a bit. And you'll see as if you come here in the summer, they won't be as big and fuzzy and wooly because they'll shed that coat out. But they're still, you know, they're still ready for winter. Yeah, just getting through that right now. It is beautiful out here. And these guys are just tearing it up. Look at that. You, getting, you following that, cameraman? <laughs> okay. This is really cool. So actually, and they're pretty safe. They don't. They don't look like they're harmless, harmful at all. Oh no, they're absolutely nice. They'll literally just eat right out of your hand. The only thing you have to worry about is having your shirt chewed on. Okay. Well, make sure you bring a shirt. You may not mind getting chewed on. That's awesome. I noticed you have camels over here too. Yes, we have a big male camel right there. And if you look over here, we have a couple baby camels. Oh yeah, that's we'll really. A little later. Yeah, we'll have to go over there, for sure. Well, this has been quite neat, a little adventure. I noticed they do have uh, panthers here. Is that what those were, panthers? Yeah, we have uh, African spotted leopards. We have uh, all spotted female, and our male's all black, although they're actually the same animal. They're kind of in their corral right now. We couldn't uh, get them out, but definitely if you guys get a chance to come here, you guys got to see that. It was uh, scared the living heck out of me. <laughs> here, here you go. <laughs> well, they're actually pretty... They're nice for big cats, but, you know, you wouldn't want to have one as a house cat for sure. No doubt. I No doubt. I'm sure that would just rip your arm off. No problem. If it ever got upset at you, but ours are quite nice. They've been handled a lot by our caretakers and stuff here. How long have you had them? Uh, we've had them five years now. Five years now? Okay, so you, you guys know them pretty darn well, I imagine. Yeah, we've had them since they were just little kittens. Oh, that's awesome. They sure get big. <laughs> yes, they do. They get very big. Okay. Uh, well, I go. I guess we'll go ahead and head on over to the camels now, or where, where would we like to go next? Yeah, we can move over to the camels, get a better view of our camels we have over there, and then we'll move along to all of our different animals, or baboons, and, oh, wow. and then on to the big cats, to the lions. Oh, wow. We're seeing lions today, folks. Do not go away. Okay, and we are here with the camels, and they. I noticed they're making some noise. Oh, yeah, they make noise all the time. It's just kind of their way of acknowledging that they see you and they know we're here. Because as their caretakers, we're the people that go in there and we brush them and play with them and we'll take them for walks and we feed them. So, so they get a little excited when they see you guys. Oh, yeah. They're like, they're, you're the buds. Exactly. You know, yeah. We try to you know work with them as much as possible, like all of our animals. Oh, sure, sure. They are beautiful, though. They kind of got that eye, though. They're staring me down, I think. <laughs> now they wouldn't hurt you. <laughs> and they're only about a year old. They'll actually get much bigger than that, even though they're already quite big. Now, now, what is the, uh, is there like a record speed for these guys, or what's their average speed? Because I noticed they have camel races up in Virginia City and stuff like, do you know about that? Oh, uh, yeah, I know a little bit about it, but um, they're not terribly fast, but they can go about 20 miles an hour. They're mostly, they're not built for speed, uh -huh. but for endurance, like, that's why they use them, like, in the big sand dunes out in Arabia and stuff, because mm -hmm. they can go almost nonstop. They can walk for a day straight. Really? With water? I mean, can they go a long time without water? Yeah, they can. And it's actually a common misconception that they're, a lot of people think their humps are filled with water, uh -huh. store water. It actually stores fat because their um, digestive system actually is what controls their water intake and they use it very efficiently. And then the food is what they really need and that's why they have the hump. Oh, okay. Well, that is interesting. They do definitely look uh, pretty endurance quite a bit to me, I'd imagine. Anything else you would like? Uh, like, what are they? Uh, they just eat hay just like a normal horse would. Okay. They just eat a lot of it. But pretty much just horse hay, and they have a special type of grain we give them. It's actually designed for older horses, and it's kind of just a treat to them, really. You guys got to come out to the zoo. We got camels, and we're just getting started. Okay. Uh, anything else you would like to add? Uh, no. No? You're good? Okay. Well, I guess we're going to head on over to the baboons now, and uh, from what I understand, they're a little bit dangerous, so we're not going to be holding any of those today. Be right back. 
Okay, and we are now over here with the baboons. Uh, I got my first question is definitely, what's up with the butt? Oh, it's actually just the way they are. It's because they sit on it all the time. There's no fur. Oh, okay. Okay, so they, they're definitely... Oh, there's a little baby one in there, huh? Yeah, the little baby in there is about a month and a half old. That is really neat. Yeah, they, they breed all the time, so we have a lot of babies. We almost always have at least one baby up in there. That's terrific. That is terrific. So uh, where are baboons originally, you know, where would they be indigenous from? They're from Africa. They kind of share the same kind of territory the lions would, the brushy savannas, and they live up in trees a little bit, but mostly on the ground. On the ground, okay. This one here, he's got the eye. He's, he's liking Shayla, I can tell. Yeah, he's a male. He uh, focuses on especially smaller people. Uh -huh. Sees them kind of more it's his size. and Almost like a play toy. Then. A little, not quite like a play toy, but... <laughs> Look at his eyes. That is really cool. Look at him. Yeah, they're very, they have a lot of facial expressions. They're very, you know, they move their eyebrows and they're very focused. They're always really aware of their environment. Always checking everything out. One, anything that's new, especially anyone they haven't seen before or sure. anything like that, they're always focusing on. They look quite intelligent, actually, when you look at them. Oh, yeah, they're very intelligent. Almost human-like, I mean, the way they look around. and I was just noticing. That's pretty neat. Oh, yeah, they're very intelligent. Like, we'll have, uh, we do a lot of kind of enrichment things with them, and we'll have, like, a little box with holes that are drilled in and stuff, and we'll put treats in, and they can figure out, like, how to do it. And they can, like... Very basic puzzles, but they can solve puzzles, kind of a thing. And they're really, really smart animals. Wow. What do the what's their preferred uh, food? Well, we actually have a special diet just for them. It's just built specifically for uh, primates that are in captivity. It's a totally balanced diet. It looks kind of like a giant dog biscuit. Uh -huh. And then they get as a treat, they get a lot of cut up fruit and vegetables, and pretty much anything that a person could eat, they'll eat. Oh, they'll at least try. That is neat. Look at look at that one. Uh, Go ahead, if you could zoom in on this guy here, cameraman. This is really neat. Look at look at the facial expressions that I was talking about. Look at, hi, buddy. What's up, dude? He's yawning. Quite human-like. Quite human-like. It's really amazing. Oh, yeah. They're a lot like us. Very, and they're very active. Right now, it's kind of the later part of the day, so they're kind of lazy, but a lot of times they'll run around in circles and up, and they see you have ropes and stuff up there that they can play on, and sometimes they'll get in a really playful mood, and they'll swing from the ropes and stuff and just have a good time. That is awesome. Quite amazing. I do not believe I've ever been this close to a baboon ever. Yeah, a lot of people haven't, and that's, you know, the reason the zoo's here is there's a lot of animals here that people would only see on TV, and some more obscure ones you might not even see on a TV show. So it's really nice, you know, we actually have people come out, and we have so many people that come out here and say, I've never seen a real lion or a camel or baboon or anything like that. And, you know, we're also here to help teach people about them, where they're from, who they are, not just as a species in general, but the actual animal. And then we also like to talk about you know especially the endangered one what's being done to conserve them and why they're having problems with you know being an endangered species and everything and just promote animal knowledge are these an endangered species these actually no they're not they're, they're not okay that's just something good to know but quite amazing i really am just shocked at, at the way their uh, facial expressions are it's really neat look at down here we got the baby which is just so pretty is that a boy or a girl or I believe it's a girl, but I'm not 100% sure. Look at that. And that one's just upside down. They are. It's so neat. <laughs> there it is, folks. The Zoo 101. Anything else you'd like to add? Um, not especially about the baboons. Uh, let's move on to some other monkeys. All right. Sounds like a good, uh, good day. Okay. We are here with uh, what kind of monkeys are these? These are African green monkeys. Okay, I noticed there's a little baby, too. Yep. She's only about, oh, about three weeks old. She was born here. Looks like she's had quite a few of them born here. What, now, where are these indigenous to? I know it said Africa. Is there a certain part, or is it just all over Africa? Uh, kind of Central Africa. Okay. That's awesome. Oh, what do they eat? Um, they, as well as the baboons, they have a special diet just designed for primates. And they get a lot of fruit and stuff. They like bananas a lot. Seems to be their favorite. That is terrific. Uh, the shot, I know the, we're trying to get you a good shot. It, 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 it kind of stuck there, but if you guys come down here and see this baby monkey, it is beautiful. Oh, they're a little scared. That's cool. And I noticed you got a whole other array of monkeys down here. Yeah, we have quite a few different monkeys. Um, right here, they have the green monkeys, and we also have paddis monkeys. We have uh, ring-tailed lemurs, which are a type of primate. They're actually not a monkey. 
And we, of course, we have the baboons, which I already showed you earlier. And, yeah, we have a lot of, quite a few primates. They're really interesting to show. That's, that's terrible. Sorry. Shayla. <laughs> um, okay, anything else you'd like to add on the monkeys? Well, one thing we always, you know, just like to tell people is that a lot of monkeys and primates all in general are kind of an endangered species. So we try to help, especially like our ring-tailed lemurs, which are very endangered. You know, we try to do a lot of conservation work with them, you know, try to help other zoos and stuff breed them and, you know, make sure we can save the species because, you know, once they're gone, they're gone forever. Yeah, and that's no good. I mean, imagine never getting to see a monkey again or anything like that. That's not cool. Yeah, and that's a lot, you know, what us and most zoos try to do is not just show them but help protect the species as well as by through breeding and conserving them making sure that they have a safe place to go you know so as their habitats are destroyed and stuff they have to come somewhere and that's what zoos are here to do exactly and it is beautiful even the terrain around here the mountains and the snow back here it's just quite serene it is it's very beautiful we have the majestic peavine mountain right behind us and always provides a good view and the for the most part the weather's usually pretty good oh yeah it's beautiful today yep and animals love it. Sometimes they're a little lazy when it gets warmer, but, you know, we all are. Oh, yeah, you got to sunbathe, you know, sure. Oh, look, cameraman, you should see if you can get that shot right there of that baby. Oh, don't move. That's just beautiful. Oh, they're a little sketchy, I imagine. She doesn't want her baby hurt. <laughs> okay, um, where are we going to head to after these? Oh, uh, let's move down to the lions. Lions it is. What lies beyond the curve in the trail? What secrets are there? My feet carry me into its veiled mystery, and I want to taste the sweet air and hear the song bestowed by nature. Just this once. Until the next curve, the next trail, the next walk through the Carson Valley. The Genoa Foothill Trail System will connect the Carson Valley with the Tahoe Rim Trail, providing a wonderful trail system near the oldest town in Nevada. This is just one of many projects the Carson Valley Trails Association is working on for our communities, but we cannot do it alone. Please contact us by visiting our website and find out about becoming a member or signing up to help build our community trails. We're looking forward to seeing you out in the most beautiful land Nevada has to offer. Okay, we're here with, uh, what kind of lion is this? It's an African lion. This is Kenya. He's our big male here. We have four lions here. We have two males and two females. Wow, he is just beautiful. Yep, he, you can see he's a little tired. Eh? They sleep pretty much all day and all night. They spend a lot of time sleeping. He just got fed all of his food, too, so he's nice and full and lazy. But he's quite the majestic animal. What, what would you be feeding this guy? We uh, feed him a combination of different meats, uh, beef, pork, chicken, turkey. All kind of a mix of different cuts. Uh huh. You know, pretty much kind of the same stuff they'd eat in the wild. You know, they'd eat different types of cattle, zebra, antelope, stuff like that. And, you know, we just try to balance it out by using different meats. Yeah, he seems like just so, like just a big baby right there. Oh, he is. He's actually he's quite gentle for being a giant lion. And they sleep about 20 hours a day, so it's kind of hard to catch him when he's not asleep, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I know. He, he just looks like he nodded out, almost like a tranquilizer hit him or something. <laughs> oh, yeah. They they sleep and sleep. And they'll get up to eat, and then they'll go back to sleep, and that's about the day of a lion. Beautiful, though. And I, I like his uh, cage. He's got the water and the hill there. And... Yeah, we have this big enclosure here, and we actually switch it between all the cats. We have the four lions and one tiger, and they actually are all switched around, so they can all take advantage of having the larger cage, and they play around and... They spend most of their time, they'll walk in there, and then, like usual, they just go to sleep. Just go to bed. When they feel playful, they can play around. We have different toys. We have the logs they can jump on. We have uh, some little play, like, big plastic balls they can bat around. and Yeah, just give them some exercise. Exactly. Keeps them exercise, and it keeps them, you know, from getting too bored or anything. It keeps them happy. That's what, you know, we try to do is keep them as happy as possible. Well, yeah, he looks quite happy. <laughs> he is the most content cat you'll ever meet. Really? Yeah, if I was a lion, this is where I'd want to be. For sure. Absolutely. It is beautiful. Yeah, it is beautiful. 
Um, anything now? Do you mate with, with these lions and let them have babies or anything like that? Every now and then, yeah, we'll breed them and just you know the same like I was saying earlier. We help out with other zoos by providing them with animals they couldn't get and. We do a lot of exchanging stuff, and that's kind of how zoos build on each other. And, yeah, we do breed the lions every now and then. We haven't had lion cubs in a while, mm-hmm. but hopefully, you know, some point. And they, don't, they get along pretty good when they are together, or they, they don't fight very much? Oh, no, they don't fight at all. They get along great. That's terrific. Kind of just running with the pack. And that's neat, too, because it kind of keeps them to their African heritage and all that, I imagine. Yeah, they kind of have their own little pride here between the four of them, and, you know, they really stay together, and they're quite close. That's awesome. That's awesome. And these cages are really quite big, so, I mean, they're in beautiful shape. They're just beautiful. Oh, yeah. We take care of our animals the best we can. I agree. I think you guys are doing a stand-up job on this. Indeed. And that looks like uh, almost something you'd see at uh, Vegas there. Yep. Right down there we have Nikolai. That's our big white tiger. Uh We should probably go check out Nikolai. That looks pretty cool. Yes, we'll head down there right now, I think. Okay. That sounds great. Okay, we are here with uh, what kind of tiger is this? This is a uh, white Siberian tiger. Oh, wow. And they're an endangered species. They're one of the endangered species we have here. Terrific. What, what would be the name? It's a uh, Siberian tiger, uh-huh. and it, his actual name is Nikolai. Oh, great, because of Siberia. I mean, that's yeah. funny. Exactly. That's why we chose it. And, it, and he's just sunbathing right now. <laughs> yeah, he's just taking it easy. What's up, Nikolai? How you doing? He's about the silliest, goofiest tiger you'll ever see in your life. He is. He's a big dork. <laughs> the big dork, Nikolai. He does. Just so, so beautiful, though. Look at that. What do you girls think of Nikolai? He's cute. That's better than cool. <laughs> he looks pretty lazy. He looks so cute. Look at him. Uh, the, quite awake, though. And so these are, are these endangered? Oh, yeah, they are. They're endangered. They're the absolute largest of all the big cats. The tigers are the largest of the big cats, and the Siberian tigers are the largest of the tigers. You can't kind of tell because he's laying down, but he's he's a big kitty. Yeah, he definitely. How about how much is with uh, on a rough estimate would he weigh? About four hundred fifty pounds. That's a big cat. That is a big cat. Yeah, it's not your house kitty, you know. Yeah. Now, do you guys trim the claws or anything like that? Or? Uh, no, we don't actually go in there with him. Okay. Yeah, I imagine that's quite dangerous. Yeah, he wouldn't. The way he is, he's just silly. He wouldn't hurt you maliciously, but he might jump on you wanting a hug, and 450 pounds is a big hug. Yeah, that's not a good thing. Look at that face. That is just, oh, the wake up cranky look. Yeah, we disturbed his nap, but he's always napping, so he'll just go right back to sleep. Yeah, he should have just seems real docile. It's amazing how it's such a big animal. You see so much biographies on TV and stuff about, you know, how they maul and that. And it's good to show, you know, how beautiful they are. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, all of our animals here, they're just fun, playful, you know. We'd be more afraid of one of the big cats hurting us, like I said, just trying to give you a hug or, you know, want to play like cats play. And, you know, they don't realize that we are not a big kitty like they are and they'll just beat us up. So, you know, so we don't actually go in the cages with them, but they would never hurt any of us, you know, out of anger or anything, though. About how much food does this animal pack away in about a whole day of eating? He eats about 12 pounds of food every day. Wow. That's a lot of steak. Yeah, it is. Is it like T-bones and ribs and stuff like that? Or? Yeah, it's kind of the same thing. We feed the lions our ribs, chicken. Uh, he really likes just the big chunks of just beef and pork. It's kind of his favorite. Oh, wow. Yeah. No wonder they're sleeping 12 pounds of food, you know. That's like Thanksgiving every day. Oh, yeah. He's got a good full stomach. They always do. That's awesome. That is awesome. Uh, do they drink a lot of water as well? or? Yeah. They probably drink about 10 gallons of water a day. That's a lot. And his favorite thing to do when it gets warmer in the summer is he likes to crawl in his little water tank or go out in the play area and play in the pond and get just soaking wet. Yeah, well, sure. Especially as the heat gets hotter, I would imagine that that happens more frequently. Oh, yeah, he does it all the time. He'll even do it in the winter. Yeah, we've seen him jump in the pond where there's eight inches of ice on top of it, and he's totally fine just sitting in the water. Just happy as can be. Yep. That's awesome. So beautiful out here. Uh, do we have any bears or anything like that? Oh, we do not have any bears. We just don't have the facilities for bears. Bears take a lot of room and a lot of work and special stuff. We just don't have the area to keep them. Well, as you grow, that maybe down the road, that uh, could be an option. Someday. Yeah. Awesome. That is awesome. So we have had a beautiful day here at the zoo. I think uh, the lions and the tigers here have just been so serene. The zebras were really neat. 
Those seem like your babies. That's your pride right there, huh? The band new zebras. Oh yeah, they are. They're adorable. Yeah, yeah. That really. Yeah, you can just see your face light up so much on the zebras. Yeah, we love the zebras here. They're awesome. Yeah, that's it. That's that's just awesome. How how come here, girls? Tell the people out there how the zoo has been for you. Oh, it's so much fun. It's cool seeing all the different animals that you never really see all, every day. And what would you say? Pretty much what she said. You just copying your sister. That's yeah. a good sister. That's what they do. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I appreciate the, very much the, the whole zoo experience you've given me. And as we leave, I'm going to go ahead and show some pictures probably for the end credits or whatever uh, of your whole little setup as we come in. All right. So hey, let me give you some directions and some information about uh -huh. how to get a hold of us. Sure. Oh, please do. Okay. Um, our website is SierraSafariZoo.org. Mm -hmm. If you go on our website, we have uh, all the information and directions where we are and we're located in our phone numbers. If you need to call us, our phone number is 775-677-1101. And just call it up and leave a message, and we'll try to get back to you. And you know, if you're, we also arrange field trips for schools and large groups, and you can get a hold of us through there. And we're located at 10200 North Virginia Street, and that's Reno, Nevada, 89506. And you can just go ahead and take our address and map question. If you need any more directions, our website's really helpful and informative about that. And come out. Have a good time at the zoo. Oh, yeah. That, it's been awesome, and I appreciate it. Thank you so much. You've Thank been you a happens. great host. You've been a great host. Thank you. She sleeps here tonight in bonfires among her friends and families of her time. We want to see the shadow. She won't be sleeping there